June 1982, the Falklands War, Margaret Thatcher's war, ends in a complete British victory. The Iron Lady is at the top of her popularity and influence. September 1982, while on an official visit to Beijing, the British Prime Minister expresses Britain's wish to see China extending the lease of Hong Kong. Deng Xiaoping counters this by putting forward China's will to recover all of its territories that are still under foreign administration. 1983. For a year, negotiations are pursued with no positive results. When they reach a deadlock, the Chinese premier bluntly states that he could walk in and take the whole lot this afternoon. Encouraged by her aura as a victorious war leader in the Falklands, the British Prime Minister takes up the gauntlet and orders the reinforcement of Hong Kong's garrison. In retaliation, China masses troops on Hong Kong's border, hoping to force her to reconsider Britain's position. Six months later, the Iron Lady hasn't yielded an inch and even convinces several Commonwealth states to stand alongside Britain. April 19, 1984. When it was unable to recover through diplomacy, China decides to recover by force. On April 19, 1984, at one minute past midnight, China recalls its ambassador to Great Britain after transmitting a last declaration of war.